We have learned about big plans for the Sundial in downtown St. Petersburg. Its new owners say they intend to give that property a major facelift. And as 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser reports, if that's something you feel like you've heard before and perhaps not so long ago, you're right. Sundial, the outdoor retail development in the heart of downtown St. Petersburg, is about to undergo a major remodeling again. Well, you know, it's been so vacant for a while, um, and I think we're just excited that there's finally some interest in it, you know. You don't have to turn the clock or sundial back all that far, just 10 years, to when local businessman Bill Edwards spent tens of millions of dollars to redo what was then called Baywalk. Neighbors say loitering and sidewalk protests doomed Baywalk, and while sundial initially thrived, it later sputtered, no thanks to the popularity of online retail and then the pandemic. I think it's definitely worth doing only because of what's happening in downtown St. Pete. The new owners shared artist renderings that give Sundial more of a Hyde Park Village vibe. An extension of the community, the new CEO Andrew Wright said in a statement, a place that enhances the city socially, economically, and culturally. A space where celebrations are had, where business is done, and where friends run into each other. This looks like it's going to be one central area where you can just go and hang out. There's fountains or whatever, get a cup of coffee, and then you start wandering around some shops. In fact, folks who live, shop, and work in downtown St. Pete hope whatever this latest version of Sundial is succeeds. And this time stands the test of time. I hope they get it right because, I mean, that's part of having a thriving downtown. Those artists rendering show the AMC Theater and Seesaw remaining here at Sundial. If all goes as planned, construction could begin by this summer and is expected to take about three to four months to complete. In St. Petersburg, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. And records show last year, Ally Capital Group purchased the Sundial property from local business person Bill Edwards for $27.5 million. The new owners did not say how much the planned renovations will cost.